To make those tools for indirect percussion, I'm using a special plastic with really high abrasion resistance. Uh, I buy them by the foot length section at amazon.com or Granger, and uh, it's called ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. Uh, I've got a one and a quarter inch. This can also be used as a mallet. I've got the one inch, and then I've got little three quarter inch for the finer details. Regarding the copper, uh, I did find online some solid copper nails. These aren't copper plated, they're solid copper. And also you can try ground rod um, for electrical installations. But I find this is a little softer and the nails work really well. I've tried several different ways to figure out how to find the center of the dowel. But the easiest way for me is take the diameter with a set of calipers. This is exactly 20 millimeters. So I take half of that, which is 10 and then make a little mark on a piece of paper or cardboard at 10 millimeters, and then just start making lines. That little spot in the middle, that's dead center. I'm using a drill press to drill this hole, and I don't have a jig or anything, I'm just gonna hold it by hand. <laughs> So I've drilled the hole so that it's a little bit bigger than the nail, and that's gonna slip out. So I'm gonna shim it with this little piece of leather, just put it close to the hole, kind of grab a little bit with the nail, and then hammer it in. And now I'm gonna cut this off, leaving a little more than a quarter of an inch sticking out. And that's pretty much all there is to it. We can work this um, with a file a little bit if you want to round it over, but that's all I do. Well, let me show you how I set it up. So I've just got a regular web strap here and I'm gonna take a loop around that end, run it under my knee, and then bring it up here. And then you wanna tighten it pretty tight. Now the other thing is to keep these from kind of separating over time, what I've been doing is this. And really, the person to watch, the person that I think does this technique the best on all of YouTube is Jack Crafty. Uh, he's the one that I learned it from, indirectly, of course, not in person, but watching him on the internet. And you can get some amazingly thin pieces using this technique. Now, as far as striking this, I could either hit it with the copper bopper, real heavy one, or what Jack does is he uses, uses another piece of the, the polyethylene.